guys, what is up? My name is Miranda, if you're new and if you're back, hey what's up, hello. Um, today I'm going to be telling some more paranormal stories about the house that we currently live in because a lot of stuff just happens and I guess I just need to tell you. So if you've watched my previous paranormal stories, you would know that we moved to a new house and the ghost or old house was on the two and it followed us here. So, I've already told some mini story times kind of things, so you should go watch that video if you haven't heard anything about this, and it's kind of like the main story of how it all began. So yeah, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment if you want more of these types of videos. Really helps me if you like to let me know that you like the video, obviously. So let's just get started. So this, I keep talking my hands. I don't know why I talk with my hands so much. It's kind of annoying, I know. So this entire story is revolved around the kitchen because, I don't know, that's like the hot spot. So this first story is kind of short. Um, me and my stepmom and my little sister were out in the living room and my dad and my middle sister have jujitsu on most nights of the week. So it was just the three of us here. We were sitting in the kitchen, not in the kitchen. We were sitting in the living room watching a movie, whatever. And then all of a sudden we hear this like metal banging on the counter, like something fell off the counter. And I knew exactly what it was. It sounded like the banana crate that we have. We have a metal banana crate and it sits on top of our refrigerator. And I was like, why did the bananas just fall? and everyone was kind of just looking around because it was so loud while we were watching a movie and no one else was home, so we didn't know, we weren't expecting that sound. So when it fell, we were all like sitting there hesitating to walk in. So I walked in, whatever bananas fell. No, they didn't just fall. The bananas were nicely set on the counter and the bin that they were in was thrown across the floor. Now I understand if the bananas were hanging off the edge or something, yeah, they could have fell. So what? But they wouldn't have fell, nicely been placed on the counter, and then the tin been thrown across the kitchen. That's not how gravity works. So if you have a scientific explanation for that, please let me know because I'm pretty sure that the bananas were placed on the counter and then the tin was thrown across. I think the ghost was hungry for some healthy fruit or something. Maybe they're trying to make a banana bread or something. But it would have been nice for a little warning and not just throwing our banana tin across the room. like. Thanks. The next story I have is also in our kitchen, obviously. So our table is in a breakfast nook. If you don't know what that is, it's like where the wall goes out and around, kind of like a bay window, but it's in the kitchen and it's not, there's no seat in it. It's just the wall goes out and there's windows everywhere. So our table is in the breakfast nook. The other day, everyone was hanging out, chilling. Some people were in the kitchen, some people were in the living room, everyone's their laptops, phones, TVs, whatever, whatever you do on a normal day. And then all of a sudden we hear this knock. It was like, so everyone's looking around like, what the heck was that? Well then, a couple minutes go by, everyone ignored it, whatever, because no one could figure out what it was. Then this yellow bird comes up and knocks with its beak on the window. It's like, so everyone's like, what the heck? Why is there a bird smacking its face on our window? Like, what? It went away, like whatever. But then, no, it came back and did it again. It was like, and everyone's like done at this point. Like, why is this bird trying to commit suicide on our kitchen window? This is not a conjuring. We don't want you here. You don't need to smack your face and throw. We know there's a ghost, okay? L Lizzie knows that we know that she's here. So you don't need to smack your face in because we know. Then, as I kind of mentioned in the last video, we will be asleep, everyone will be in bed, the house will be quiet, and then all of a sudden noises start to come from the kitchen and you just automatically assume that it's someone else from your house in the kitchen. Like legit cups will be moving around, the, the closets will, like we have a pantry with like a door door on it, it's not like a little pantry pantry, it's like a walk-in pantry. So the door, you can hear the door close, and I usually think it's my sister because sometimes she goes out in the middle of the night to get water or whatever. So I was like, okay, whatever. Well, then the cabinet keeps slamming, and then our parents were about to come out and yell at us, but then it just stops. Like, as soon as you're about to get up and go out there and look, it just stops. What? Why are you making all of this ruckus if you don't want to get caught? 
Lizzie. That's not very nice. So the next morning comes and everyone's like, dude, you can't be so loud at night when everyone's trying to sleep. You know, people got to get up for work. There's school. There's things to do. You can't be so loud. And everyone's like, well, it wasn't me. It wasn't me because I, I heard it and I was going to go out there and look. So who is it? So those are some of our newer recent paranormal experiences that have happened in this house. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe and leave me some comments. Tell me your thoughts on all of these things, what could have happened and whatnot. I've still got tons of new stories from this house and way, way, way more stories about our old house. So if you want me to do, say, if you want me to tell any of those stories, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye!